Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing Crash our death. playthrough of Subnautica. Crush death is now 1,700 meters. And now we cannot be crushed for anything, well our ship can't be crushed by anything. Riley Robinson could already not be crushed because he is a normal human being. And completely impervious to the deepest depths of the ocean. Mm -hmm. In, you know, he does normal things like transcend space and time by... Going, uh, going through buildings. You're gonna make sure there's no. Well, there's one right on the front. Ah, Alrighty. That didn't take them long. They must have. Uh... Oh yeah, we got like. So some stuff we did off recording. Uh, we got iron barriers. That's a thing now. Yep. Uh, we figured out a bunch of stuff. We, we... also um. We're breaking the game more and more every time we play. Yeah. Cause that's meant to be here. Hmm. Um, effectively, we're in a situation where it seems every time we load the game, something goes more wrong. The prawn suit was marching through sand whilst inside a building. Yeah. And we managed to move the prawn suit. Um, That's definitely a thing. Oh, yeah, I need to actually redock the prawn suit, don't yeah. I? Which, yeah, I guess you can quickly show off the amazing new feature we did to save the prawn suit, which should also sit, by the way. The prawn suit can sit. It is oh, now man. Riley Robinson's child. Yep. There's a grapple on. Yeah, I thought the grapple would be, you know, an actual like a laser beam thing, like in, you know, Metroid sort of thing, but no, it's it's just rope and a suction cup. Oh no! Poison suction cups! Right. So we're going north. Also Raf's killed one of three of of uh, freeze creatures, because the sea dragons are apparently an extinct species. Or near extinct. There is only three of them. Uh, that can be found in game, and we've killed one of them already. And Raph has enough farts uh, stored up to kill another if need be. Yes. He is also saving constantly because of the state of this game. Yeah, I don't know if that helps or makes it worse. Given we're unlikely to finish this game in this session, given how much I'm, at least I know resource gathering we'll have to do later on for the um, final part. Um. I'm kind of worried about how far how far down it can go with the next session. Then, yeah, you you got you got a bit a fair bit to travel, don't you? Until you get to the other volcano. So, how about we? Just... I don't know. So for now, let's just phase away. <laughs> or... I'm not sure we're phasing through much. We seem to be barreling for barreling for it. Well, another one of the sucky dudes has attached themselves to our ship. You can quickly throw up the force field and then turn it off. Did I get it off? It should do. Still consumed like 2% battery. I mean, it will. Yeah, we got iron batteries as well, which apparently uh, charges it up a lot. Yeah, it's uh, just gonna... five times the normal battery power. Mm. So the power cell has like thousand this has five thousand okay so it definitely seemed to work it just because uh, I don't see one on at the moment oh no other bomb there oh no he was attaching himself it works yeah it's just um of course it just pushes them off and then they're immediately next to the ship mm. I what? guess it's more if your ship was already going at a good speed. Also, I need to figure out where I'm going. Okay. So it... should we just like whoosh this segment and then yeah, just record again. Just whoosh. I mean, of course, something to talk about, but I, I'll, I'd rather talk about it in a big chunk. I'm gonna get interrupted. So we'll be back soon. Okay. Woo. When we actually find the place. Yep. Well, we're definitely in the right place. Welcome I back. What you seek. Want to. Hello, giant moth. You look like a giant moth, doesn't They are it? shaped like a friend. <laughs> Admittedly, a friend that may or may not eat you, but a friend. Well, apparently uh, it's a friend fluent in English. Who would have thought that lava was hot? You say that, but we took no damage. We may need to be in the prawn suit for it. Hello, Sea Dragon. He's uh, 
Off well, we there's the, a cube. A random cube. So yeah, I think prawn suit we have to be. We may have to be. Or... Because he can tip over the Cyclops, so... Or maybe it's just because you were too close to the uh, lava uh, floor there. Yeah. I mean, is I'm there a thermal there. suit you can make? No, this is the thermal suit that we've got. Ah. So I know it I might be that just saved. It might be that we were just too close to the lava. Or it might be because this whole place is literally on fire. That has not affected Riley Robinson before. Let's see if we can... At least get the building to spawn. Okay, so that's like part of the building. Yeah, oh, I see the get entrance there. Is that the entrance or another well, random it looks square? Like a, it looks like a gate. Warpers. Yep. Two, three. What is that? Two or three? That's one. There was a second one near it. Or it could have been another one. I think that was a lava ray. Right? So either way, we need to deal with this dragon. Mm-hmm. Well, it might be good to go in the prawn suit and try to deal with the... Well, they said the oh. prawn suit's often the... Um, how a lot of people deal with it with the... Um, yeah, they grapple and Suction drill. cup. A lot of infected here as well. I'm noticing a lot of them green. Also, there's another lizard about to come, You know, another lava about to come our way. Yeah. So, the um, thing I want to talk about, because it had me in hysterics yesterday, and mum. Mm. Are you sure we got the thermal suit equipped? And it's not yes. the... We didn't have the radiation suit or the... Instead, oh, that's the wrong weapon. Oh, maybe face him. Why are we burning up? Like, what are we touching? Nothing. It's just because the place is... We are in a volcano, to be fair. And the epic duel against the sea dragon... Uh, again! Again, we're burning, but we're not taking any damage. We did take some damage. Okay. Yeah, we've still got that thing attached to us, so... I don't know if you want to... No, I managed to knife it away. No, I mean, the one on the, there was one on the other side. Oh. Oh, neat. Our ship even shows where they are. Huh. And did our ship not take any damage? Didn't look like it. Huh. This thing's rushed down impervious. Yeah, it was on the other side. Uh, oh, there's a lot of them now on. That sea dragon's coming back, I think. Yeah, this one's a Newton and affected one. Um, but yeah, so as you attempt to do round two against this guy, well, it's a different one, but you seem you seem dedicated to wiping out their species. Did you take that head on, and it just kind of nudged you? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, did that work? Should do. Takes a while to kill him, remember. Might have been just a bit off. Should have been in range. Well, hopefully this does it. We're going to have to use the prawn suit to finish him off. I'm assuming he took damage. We saved before this anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, get on the prawn suit. We'll grab onto him B. and punch him. Or well, you're going to ram him with the... Down. Oh, we're just going to fly past him. Um, so yesterday, I applied for a... Uh, I went to apply for a job. Online, uh, let's just uh, call the store Laddie. Yes, Laddie. Um, not the name of the store, but. Sure, no. no one will figure that out. So I went to apply for a job at Laddie. Um, and I went to the website. 
you may want to go faster. Because that's probably the sea dragon attacking. It is. It's trying to flank us. Alas, there's a building in his way. <laughs> he just rammed into the building. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have some of your gas plots missed there. It's a shame they don't have health bars, because that would make it easy to say. But so, Laddie's website, I can compliment on them on the fact that they have a... I don't mean you can get up here. I don't think you can either. You may be able to shoot a fireball, but... Um, should we take out the batteries, by the way? Um, You're just going to kill this guy first. Yeah, I feel like... He constitutes as a mildly bigger threat. Yeah. I just want to elaborate. I don't know how people do this. I think he might be stuck. He might be. Oh no, he's slowly coming up. No. You can't attach him to anything but his head, remember? No, it grappled on. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's why you can't do both at the same time. Well, grapple and punch. Yeah, and we got—we haven't even got a fist at the moment. We've got a, dr a, so a drill. Yeah, can that still do damage? Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems like this might take a while. So should what we? What if we just completely ignore them? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's go, go take the batteries out of our. Um, yeah. So, Laddie has a really nice sort of website, very easy to get through, and I got through to you know applying for the job really quickly. It's pretty much the only job in the area that really could fit me, because the other store, we'll call them Diddles, uh, you've had an experience with, and described it as a cult. So, logically a uh, welcomed idea on my part. And the other one, we'll call them Keto. Um, it's annoying having to, uh, you know, have a account on their website and all their, their website sucks for trying to actually apply for a job that um, looks normal yeah and so i was on laddie's website got through to the, the sort of thing they ask you first to fill in you know the usual stuff you know your name address all that but they also had you uh, ask you to fill in a equals opportunity thing hmm we should probably repair that you know how we do so I mean, is it the uh, control thing, or...? Oh, I think I have to... Do it on the outside? So, yeah. Oh, that is working. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, gosh, we really should have had a uh, med fabricator in our ship. It's fine. We're just on fire. Um, I'm going to leave that eye on cell and... Uh, an equal opportunities thing, which, of course, the equal opportunities thing always kind of made me think, huh, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get a job like this, am I? Because uh, equal opportunities um, listed include, you know, just like a heterosexual, white, white British. Oh wow, I'm never gonna get a job like that, am I? <laughs> um, but then they asked you, they they set out two sort of different quizzes that you'd have to do. One was a quiz where you do, where you'd ask, uh, be given a range of options, and you'd be told either. Uh, get inside the building first before. Oh, yeah, they can come in here. Oh. Well, I did it. That was combat. 
um, where they asked you can either, uh, you know, you have to, four things you have to put one as most like you and the other option as, and one of the other options is least like you. And then said after that, they'd give you another little um, quiz thingy. The blue tablet exists <laughs> just for this one thing. Another quiz thingy later on, which would give you a bunch of um, scenarios, and you have to answer the, what you think is the best thing you, to do in said scenario. So, thing. So I got into the first sort of question, and there was like twenty-one quest. Uh, first quiz, and there was twenty-one questions. Um, to fill in. Vaccine pro development program terminated. Uh, oh yeah, it's taking ages to get onto it. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Life specimen terminated. Evacuate immediately. Ha! Huh. That's normal looking. Oh, when did this take damage? A lot. We should repair it. Yeah. Also, there are robots here. Yeah, we encountered the robots before and I stabbed them. Mm. Um, and, um, you know, they so they answered me a bunch of questions. Looking through my answers, I, I think, huh, I'm starting to sound like a robot here. Because it's like, you know, what do you prefer doing? So, if, you know, most like you, I was often answering, you know, getting on with the job. Not much creative thinking on my part because I prefer to do things by the book. And there's a lot of situations that were kind of like... Um, yeah, that looks normal. You may want to kill that thing first. Yeah. Um... And I mean, the problem is that a lot of the time there'd be lots of situations where there'd be questions where it's, like, where it's like, oh, all options describe me or none of these options describe me for the most likely and least likely thing. But anyway, I went through the quiz and you're supposed to say, they said, you know, don't worry, you won't be judged for this. Just answer it as you think, you know, you think suits you most and don't think too long on it. Just answer uh, based off your first instinct. What would your first answers be to these sort of things which are most like you and least like you? So I filled it in. And, okay, I had Mum there with me just to collaborate. Hmm, which one do you think sounds like most me? And most like me, sort of thing? But I filled it in. Then a message pops up. Sorry, but we do not think you're suitable for this job. Please, uh, uh, please try again in six months' time. Amazing. Siem Profitus. Wow. Mucine better days. But, yeah, um... We I filled in this thing saying all this most like me least like me stuff, and immediately don't and it immediately reject saying we won't judge you, and then they immediately judged me and rejected me. Laddie said that I'm not suitable for working there uh, with my you know I'm, they're not interested in hiring I guess me based for a store assistant role based off what I answered. No escape. Those texts just had to load in. Um. Ancient blade. Oh man, I wish we could use one of those. It's like a miniature katana. Scimitar. Strange carving. Yeah, I won't lie, that is strange. Um. So yeah, I so I was apparently judged. I am apparently not. Apparently, they do not want robots. They want people who can. I I'm guessing. Um, not asked. Um. Not asked to be, you know, double check things and just do things straight away, which I think is kind of odd in a retail store environment where you'd think people would want you to be a by the book, b not having to think to like how many times do you have to think outside the box or with working in a retail store environment. It's like like the customer wants a, a deal. How do I do it? Uh, I know. I'll um, we'll just remove the manager's pay and I'll just give it for them for free. Well, because the till isn't working. Like, I guess that's an hour box thing, but it's not something you'd, they'd want me to do. Yeah, no, they want you or like, to you know, be independent, but not question anything they say. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, it didn't help that one of them was like, uh, which was at least like, you know, one of them is like, was like, uh, uh, in ensuring I please my employer. Where it's like, well, no, the, the, the philosophy of retail is the customer is king, is it not? And sometimes the customer goes against the employer. It's a slide! Oh my gosh! 
That's what they were doing along. They weren't researching viruses or anything. They were trying to build the world's most cool, uh, coolest water theme park. It went terribly wrong. Oh gosh, this is Water World. <laughs> we're in Water World. This place looks incredibly impractical. Mm. I also keep looking up to make sure our Cyclops is still alive. Oh, do alive. we have any food on us? It's in the Cyclops. Ah, because we're apparently really hungry. It was like this you know, inflow pipe. Did I just saw a peeper get yeeted? Oh, outflow pipe. So, uh, mum, mum, and me burst into hysterics upon receiving that message straight away. Like, kudos to laddies. I didn't have to wait long to be rejected. Yeah. Like, I felt it was so immediate. Oh, there was another scan thing back there, by the way. Though it was so. I think they keep just popping up. It was so immediate to right to right. Something in there. No, it's it just yeah. keeps. It was so immediate that I didn't have time to get like my hopes up or be critical of it or be critical of myself for not getting the job. It was just funny. Yeah. I mean, I'm the one thing I am disappointed at is it's pretty much the only job around of retail in the area because currently with the you know with the whole um, situation currently with the world. Funny enough, buses aren't exactly. I'm pretty sure I saw people in there as well. Buses aren't exactly um, being encouraged because, of course, you're instantly in close proximity with people, and so there's less likely to actually people using a bus, and less services are keen to use buses. But that basically limits my job option to the village we live in in the nearest town, and there's not much going there. I mean, there's lots of labouring jobs, but I'm already working as a labourer, yeah. and I've seen the health and safety practices of the building site, uh, building jobs around. Uh, our town and village, and they're not good. Um, I'd probably get kicked off quickly from complaining so much about the lack of health and safety in PPE. Yeah. Um. They don't really do much damage. No. You'd think a robot would be able to be more efficient at trying to take down a regular human like Riley Robinson. He is just your regular, average, normal human being. Honestly, the way we say it kind of makes like it sound like it's supposed to be a cartoon show. Do I have an iron cube with me to cram in this? No. Well, you can drill it out of the thing. Yeah. Huh. Aside from alien, you know, uh, it is space emperor Phoenix, we're not really finding that much in here. I mean, lots of stuff that I guess to read later, but like no information being given to us, which is kind of... I know. It, I, I don't get the idea of lore. You have to just you know sit down and read yourself afterwards. I can understand some cool trivia like you know the items and such, but I think the space you know, emperor fetus thing seems like it's a uh, important enough to. Wait, do I have to craft another blue tablet? It seems so. Well, that's stupid. Do you know what we need to make use to make him? Know, unless there's another blue tablet around here, that guy wasn't even bothering us. And he died. The worst part is these robots remind me of cave crawlers. Yeah, they're the exact same AI, I think. They're basically just a reskinned. Okay. How can we protect our people by um, by building the um, robots of the biggest douches we know around here? Their only defense system is a giant robot gasopod. Um. But yeah, yeah, there's, um, but instantly me and mum burst into oh. hysterics afterwards. Storing more than 14 genetic expressions. Huh, interesting. Um, me and mum burst into laughter about it, and mum immediately commented that we should get you to try to apply for it, see, you know, just for the quiz alone. I would say that technically, given you're the type of person who likes to just work on the assigned task and not be distracted by other things, much like you were at, um, Diddles. Yeah. Um, I think I would assume you'd fail it, but then again, knowing my luck and your karma, um, you would probably pass. Mm -hmm. I'd be super eager. I mean, you could probably answer the exact same question, you know, aunt, give the exact same answers, and somehow it would know it's you who's doing it. It's just a room filled with eggs. Oh gosh, the aliens were you. I can't scan them. None of them. No. Are you sure it's not because we've already scanned those some of them before? I went to every egg I could... So they talk about that room, but none of the others. Um, 
I suppose. But um, yeah, we'll uh, have to end this chunk because, of course, we've got another chunk on the front of it. And yeah, we've we'll, got oh. another episode to record. So, yeah, the Sea Dragon stuff took a while. Wait, no, that's where we came from, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that the pillar rising up? Okay. That's sounding like a Sea Dragon inside this building. That's the fear of us. Okay, so we'll um, may need to eat food first before we do further exploration. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the side. Yeah, but we'll um, pause, for, um, you know, stop at the end of the episode here and uh, be continuing more exploration in this place. Yep. For um, now, though, cheerio! Like, comment, subscribe to actually see what happens.